Hi friends, welcome to Upper Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about Scrum, which is one of the process in Azure DevOps. Uh, I will try to make you understand why this Scrum process is very helpful and uh, how it will make it your life easy when you are working on a projects. Okay, so when you when you choose this Scrum process in Azure DevOps for any project, you will get different type of work items we will discuss what are those work items and why they need how they work actually the hierarchy and all that stuff okay and this video is very is it's greatly suitable for the people who are beginners and who want to understand how azure devops helps for the project management using scrum process okay so generally managing projects uh if you go to a lead role or where you have to act as a manager or a lead where you want to manage lot of work items between different people of about your project then it is very overwhelming process because there is lot to manage okay so what task to split to whom who is working where how it is going so it's a tedious and very overwhelming process to be frank and azure devops basically help to overcome that challenge in a very efficient way one of the way is using the scrum scrum process not only scrum process there are a couple of other processes too but we will focus more on the scrum process understanding in this video so basically scrum process is one of the agile principle it is one of the agile principles uh, that will focus on dividing the work into small small cycles these small cycles we will call it like a sprints okay so divide the work into small small cycles maybe weekly cycles monthly cycles and try to achieve them so that is the way scrum process actually works uh, I, I will i will show all these things practically also but to just understand this theory for a couple of minutes first now when you create any project so in azure devops so basically this is how it will go so you will go to the azure devops inside that azure devops you will have organization inside that organization you will create a project and when you create a project that's where you select the process what process you want to follow that project and maybe a scrum process in this case so once you select that process right what will happen because of that selection of a process you will get various work item types there okay so what are those types there is something called epic and then there is something called future and then there is something called pba means basically product backlog okay product backlog and finally there is something called task okay so apart from that bug also will be there but this is the hierarchy so epic future product backlog task and the hierarchy also goes this way so by seeing this hierarchy you can sense that epic basically groups the futures future basically groups the product backlog items and product backlog item basically groups the task imagine like epic is like a big picture okay the the whole project is called epic maybe you want to develop a uh, e-commerce website so that is a big epic in itself now inside that you will have a various uh, future items maybe login authentication something else and inside each future item there will be a couple of uh, product backlog items and inside each cup product backlog item you will be having a task so product to backlog item is nothing but like a it's basically like a user story okay so that means what is the actually future which you want or what is the functionality you want in the in that particular product uh, uh, in this case maybe e-commerce website when i show the example in a practical way then you will get more sense of it so but for now understand epic future product backlog item and task that is the hierarchy will go now uh, what are the benefits of using these whole things so maybe this scrum process and then uh, having this work items different types and grouping the main advantage is it is it will help you to clear structure and planning and easily track the dependencies and better collaboration and reporting and everything okay so i will show you the practical demo to it to make you more understandable now so what i will be doing it is i will be going to my uh, chrome browser here and in which I have Azure DevOps account and I have an organization called Mahir Basha there. So what I will do, I will try to create a new project here. And I will hit this uh, create a new project button and I will name this maybe, maybe this project I'm creating to create a e-commerce website maybe. So I'm naming it Mahir e-commerce. And uh, private, that means 
only the people who I give access, they can access this particular project. And when I click advanced, you see Git, that is fine for the code repository to handle, but we are focusing on the work items in this video. So instead of basic, here I will select something called a scrum. Okay. So this basically helps me to get various type of the work items, what I was discussing. I will show you that. So once you do that selection, what I what you can do is let me make it here uh, or let me do this way. So what I will do here is uh, I will hit this create button to create this project. So this will create the project. Uh, and once the projects get created, we can go and see the various type of the work items it is offering for us. So now product is create uh, project is created and I'm inside the project and I can see uh, I see there is something called boards. If I go to the boards under the work items, whenever I try to create a new work item, I see the same type of the uh, of items what I have discussed like epic type, future type, product backlog, talks. So these are the main things to understand how the hierarchy works. Okay. So now uh, if you don't know what is my project uh, process type, in this case it is a scrum. Then if, if you want to see that, go to the project settings. Okay. And inside the project settings, if you go under boards, project configurations, you should see what process your project is tagged to. Uh, if you see here, uh, you, you see here e-commerce uh, sprints, uh, because this, as I said, uh, this scrum process basically act like a SAM cycle, uh, small, small cycles. Okay. That means sprints. Okay. Weekly sprint, monthly sprint. So defaultly few sprints comes. So by seeing this sprints, you can guess that. Okay. So I think scrum is the process it is uh, set here. Uh, uh, but if you wanted to be more precisely see that, then go to the organization level go to the arc settings and uh, now inside the arc settings under the broads if you go to the process this is where you can see uh, under the process right you see under the scrum process i have one project and if i open that project which is the same thing mahir e-commerce okay so that's so i can that's i mean via that navigation also i can sense what process is selected for my project so basically this is a scrum process so i'm again going to the boards and work items. Okay. So when I go there, uh, I said epic is the top, then it will come to the future and product backlog item and task, right? So let's understand that. So let's assume I want to create an e commerce website. So I will be creating an epic called build an e commerce website. Okay. So I am hitting this epic. Okay. Uh, let's wait to create it. And it will open a template. So here I will, I can give the title. Maybe I will name it build and e-commerce website okay so i am creating an epic uh, i can assign this whole epic to somebody to work on right now it is all my name so i am assigning it to it and basically you can set these iterations you you see this under the iteration the sprint one sprint two all these things you can set so i select sprint one by default uh, but uh, as i shown under the product settings you can go to the sprints and you can set the dates also there i will show you once again so here you can give a description this epic focus on creating e-commerce website something like that you can you can write your description dates and all that things so let's hit the save button this will create a epic now if i go back to the work items you see one epic got created and as i said uh, this epic has a sprint selection also right under the iteration but what is this print from which date to which date if you don't know as i said go to the project settings uh, if i show you that once again under the project configuration for the sprint one i can select this set dates and i can set the dates so i can set the dates also for any sprint okay so now going back to my project so i have created an epic and uh, epic is the top level parent level inside the epic you will get a feature item so feature item is nothing but like a, a major capability what you wanted to achieve so i will go to the boards work items it's like a big task okay so uh, so what i will do is uh, here i will try to create a new item i will select a future and uh, maybe implementing a payment gateway is one of the major tasks for that e-commerce website so i will write like implement payment gateway okay so i have given that as a one of the future item and again, I can assign to somebody, I can write a description, all that is fine. Uh, I am saving it now. Now, this future item got saved, but it is not connected to any item. 
you see here. Uh, so what we should do is always the best practice is whenever you create any item, try to tag it to the next uh, above level. So in this case, future uh, above future, you will have something called an epic. So tag to some epic that that way it will make more sense. OK, hierarchically. So this actually part of the building e-commerce website epic. So I will try to click this add existing work item. So I want to add some existing work item as an parent and I want to add basically this epic build e-commerce website. So once I add it, this linking will happen and we need to always make sure to to link there. So uh, sorry, I think whatever the steps I have performed, you might have not seen it uh, because my screen was covered with my face there. Yeah, so now let me I see. This is what I did. What I did is related links. So here previously there was nothing. So let me close this here. So I will select this add existing work item as a parent and I am parent. I selected it. So I select an epic add link. So I'm saving it. So that way I linked this epic with this feature item. So if I go back, I have this epic. I have this uh, feature item, uh, but this particular feature item is connected to this epic. OK, so once that is done, so now this is like implementing the payment gateway feature. So this is the epic. This is the future. Now, as part of implementing the payment gateway, uh, I want to add a product backlog item that focuses on a, a simple, a, a, a focused task inside that big task. Uh, assume under that particular product backlog item usually will be like a user story. That means in the language of user. So, for example, if some user is using my e-commerce website, so their requirement is maybe as a user, I want to pay using a credit card. That is one product backlog item. Of course, it will be tagged to the payment gateway. And another product pack club item will be I want to pay using the debit card. So something like that, right? So inside this product backlog item, so I will go oh, sorry inside this feature item. So what I will do, I will try to select this and I will try to select add new linked work item. And what I will do as a child, I am going to add now. So inside the future item as a child, I want to add the product backlog item and product backlog item description is maybe like it's like a user story. So usually it will be uh, in in the tone of how user uh, logs the uh, requirement. Okay, so I'm writing like as a user, I want to pay using credit card. Okay, so this is the product backlog item, which is which will go and connect to with this feature item, which is called implement payment gateway. This intends connected with an epic called build e-commerce website. Hit this add link. Once you do that, see new product backlog item is getting created, uh, all that stuff. Uh, so all fine. So I will hit save and close. So once you do that, and now if I go back to my work items, I created a product backlog item also, which connected with this feature item. And uh, if you want to see how I can see with which uh, item it is connected. So what I, what you can do uh, for you guys to show what I will do it is uh, so let me move my image a little up here and if you see for this product backlog item so it connected with a implement payment gateway okay so now i am adding my keeping myself at the same position uh, so product backlog item is also done so generally developers will come to here and they will start their work from there so this whole thing if you go to the boards you can see the same thing there also so when i go to the boards uh, let's assume i am a developer uh, who has to work on this project. So when I go to the boards, uh, always right, they will be most of the time they will be using this uh, backlog items view. OK, and uh, if you see here, right? OK, so a user want to pay using a credit card. OK, so this is what. So now when I expand this product backlog item right now, there is nothing. So there is no task and all. OK, so what people can do is once you have this product backlog item. Now I'm an engineer who work on this product backlog item. So what I can do, I can work on that particular um uh pro pro this product backlog item and i will create a task so one of the task may be uh, integrate the razor api for the pay for this particular credit card payments or maybe implement the uh, stripe api uh, to to connect this uh, credit card payment facility inside the payment gateway so like that maybe i have two three tasks so one of the tasks may be uh, integrate uh, razor api or a stripe api so what I will do, I will go to this particular product backlog item. I will create a task. So I will hit again on this new work item. 
and I will be creating as a child under this product backlog item and I will be creating a task this time. Okay. Uh, I am not seeing a task here. One second, if I go back, I will, I should see a task here. Okay. So I am, I am selecting a task. Uh, okay. One second guys. So the reason for it not to appear is, so let me go to this. So I selected a sprint here also for the feature item. And if I go to the product backlog item, I selected a here also. Now I should be able to add task here. For some reason, it is not showing up here. So what I will do, I will try to create a task from here and I will name the task like maybe uh, integrate try API for the credit card payment. So that is the one of the tasks. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm hitting this uh, save button for now to create the task and once i hit the save button what i am going to do i will try to link one item to this so here i will click this add existing work item as a parent and then what i will be doing it here uh, as a parent i want to add this uh, product backlog item implement uh, the credit card payment things okay so add that link and when i hit the save this should get saved now if i go back to the boards i should see under this as a user i want to pay using a credit card there is one task which i can work when i click this this is the one let's assume there is another task maybe integrate the razor api so i will click once again plus symbol there integrate razor api razor api for the credit card payments so that is also like a, another task so like that i can add more and more tasks so developers basically come to this product backlog view from there they will they will try to complete that requirement uh, in that requirement there are four or five pieces small small technical pieces which they have to develop they will try to add task for each and everything and they will try to do it um, so this whole user story or the product backlog item right uh, they will start work when it got approved actually so some scrum master will basically review those requirements and they will approve it. They will move this to here and once they approve, they will start working on it. Okay. Uh, so not only that, uh, uh, and there is one more thing. Actually, you can see it in the analytics view as well. So when you, when I go to the analytics view, uh, let's go to this view full report. I think there should be a way where we can see it as a, okay. So this is basically like a, like how many how many product backlog items are approved and also right now it shows only one so that diagram so this is basically for the analysis purpose so that's it in this video i hope you understand that uh, we will be having the azure devops projects with scrum process in it that will help you to give various uh, work item types epic and uh, future item product backlog item epic future product backlog pva right and then you have task task is more on a technical task what you actually accomplish for a given requirement that is a product backlog item this will be a one of the tasks from the a big module and this will be the one of the module from the whole implementation called epic okay so i hope this knowledge help you when you work with the devops uh, and everybody needs this knowledge because in their day, day and day out, they will use, they will open this Azure DevOps always, keep that board open there and see what product backlog item are the user story which I have to work and they will take the, they will create the technical task inside of it accordingly and they will work on them and they will show the progress accordingly. So I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, uh, call to action is please subscribe to channel and like the video and comment anything if you want to ask as a doubt or maybe suggest some topic to do video. I will encourage, highly encourage to do that comments. Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day, guys.